Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new, my name is Amy. I've been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years and I've lost 60 pounds as a busy mum. Come here little sausage. Yes, I wanna show you what I'm eating today and every single day to show you how I make this lifestyle work for me, um, where I eat massive portions of delicious food. Um, so we have got a rather lovely chilled Friday today and I'm loving it. It is um, nearly 12 o'clock actually and I haven't eaten anything yet because we've been out, we've been to like a little baby toddler play group thing, then I came back and Romy fell fast asleep on me. Then I really want you guys to know I want to make some yogurt. So I walked all the way to Tesco um, with Romy on my back, just I mean it's a good workout anyway. Um, because they usually have a nice soy milk that only has soybeans and water as the ingredients, but they didn't have any, so... Oh, really? Anyway, I'm a bit sad about that, but uh, that's okay. I'll try and find some next time we go to the shops. You want some... Romy's really after some kale. Oh, you want kale and tomatoes. Do you like the tomatoes? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you some. Every time Romy sees these little tomatoes, she's like, oh my God, give them to me. Mm-hmm. Then I, yeah, you can have some more. So this morning, um, I woke up and made a massive batch of hummus with those chickpeas that I had. Oh my gosh, I haven't had hummus in ages, and I love hummus. This is just my oil-free hummus. Um, and then there's a recipe on here from like the very beginning of when I started YouTube. Mm. Oh, it is darn good. So this morning, I am having a strange mishmash of different things that we really just need eating, including kale. Um, I've also got some cherry tomatoes. You guys know I like to start my day with veggies, obviously. I also thought I'd throw in a cucumber for extra freshness in there. And then I realised it was hiding in a little drawer. I realised I had loads of courgettes left. So I'm going to have some uh, crispy courgettes with that as well. And some hummus. So that is my game plan for meal one or part one. But after that, I really just want some chocolate cake. So I'm going to quickly throw that together. Um, quick and simple, just an OT banana combination. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that because I think that'll be absolutely delicious. One of the things that has helped me lose 60 pounds in the last few years is by thinking to myself at every meal, how on earth can I get more veggies into this meal? Whether it's having a preload of some veggies, whether it's making sure I've got my 50-50 plate, whether it's squeezing loads of veggies into the actual starchy portion, like so, for example, if I'm making a big, I don't know, um, cheesy pasta or something, how can I make sure the sauce has more veggies in it so I do loads of cauliflower blended in there? But basically, at all stages of the game, I'm thinking, how can I get more veggies into my life? life um also fruit as well obviously all of the low calorie density stuff but obviously never skimping out on the starch as well so this is the so i didn't even tell you yesterday when i made kale salad i made two bags and i only ended up eating one of the bags so this is my second bag of kale so i'm actually really glad because i prepped it for today um because it's just instant kale yay i've actually chopped a mountain of cucumber here okay i feel like i'm going to be sharing a lot of these cherry tomatoes with romy but that is all right and then finally, a nice little dollop of hummus on the side um, that I can mix in with all the leafies and stuff. So this is my lovely meal part one. Then I'll show you guys how I make my chocolate cake. I know I never really show you recipes, but hot and done, let's do it. It's a little bit chilly in here, but finished my veggies. I also had a work call as well, but I really want to have some chocolate cake. So let's do this chocolate cake. I'm going to show you how I make it. I've just got one ripe banana here. This is obviously going to act as our egg replacer and also our sweetener because you guys know I don't love to use loads of maple syrup and stuff and I don't like things to be overly sweet. So we're just going to go in with some nice banana. I've got Romy here and she is currently munching on, oh, sorry, sweet pea, there you go, on dates and nuts. She just had porridge for lunch because she refused to have porridge for breakfast. She had like loads of um, grapes and tomatoes and um, hummus for breakfast. So she's having porridge for lunch because didn't really have a lot of time, to be honest. I always like to have some blended oats, i.e. oat flour on hand um, in case I fancy making this. I do usually stick this in the blender, but I can't be bothered to clean the blender right now. Um, so we've got one cup of that. One teaspoon of baking powder. Hold on a second, I need some flax. 
one tablespoon of flax. Oh, I think a little bit more is needed there. Okay, we're going to go two tablespoons of cocoa. Obviously, I would have loved to have used carob, but I'm all out of carob at the moment, and hopefully that will come really soon. I'm just going to give that a little gentle mixy mix. Then I'm just going to go in with half a cup of soya milk. And let's mix. Yeah. Do you like chocolate cake? Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is actually going to be delicious. Oh, look at that lovely batter. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Splash of vanilla. Okay, there we have it. Then I'm just going to stick this baby into the microwave, maybe for like five to eight minutes, and just see kind of when it feels like nice and firm in the middle. So let's do it. For anyone who is wondering, I am still doing squats when I pee. So uh, let's just do some squats together, shall we? Let us be an invitation for you to jump on board and do some squats, 10 squats before you pee. Three, two, nine, ten. I must say, I did a heck of a lot of squats yesterday and it was amazing. Okay, so I've got my chocolate cake and I really fancy something like drizzly on the top. I would have naturally gone for maple syrup and cocoa powder in my old days, but I've now transitioned and I now go for a banana uh, with some cocoa powder. Um, whilst I was eating the mix, it's really interesting. It is a lot more bitter than a carob. Um, that's why I really dig the carob because it's just so sweet without any of the bitterness. So there's nothing to counteract it. So I would have loved to have used carob. Tomorrow I will use carob. Mm. Anyway, um, it is actually quite late. It's like 1.30. And so I realize, I realize I need a little bit more food. So I'm gonna add two bananas um, to make my chocolate sauce to like kind of bulk it out a little bit. Hold on a second. And some chickpeas, because why not? Just a little bit, like a third of a cup. Bit of vanilla, splash of cocoa powder. And let's blend. Okay, that is actually an amazing chocolate sauce. That is, the chickpeas have actually given it a really good, like, consistency. So, wow, that's such a good three ingredient chocolate sauce. Amazing. Oh wow, I've already had a bite. This chocolate cake is amazing. It's so fluffy. And I tell you, this chocolate sauce is next level. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Actually loads of chocolate sauce in here. Um, so let's just like pour it all in. Oh, let me just make a little lake in the middle. Okay, there we go, there we go. I highly recommend trying out this chocolate sauce. Ah, so Romy and I've just spent ages cleaning the house because it was disgusting. And now we're just on our way to go and pick up Abe. And I thought it'd be a really fun little treat for him and for me to take a football and go and have a little kick around um, in our little local kind of basketball area. Um, because he always has loads of energy to burn off when I pick him up from school. So I thought that would be a good way to do it. And I get to get some movement in. So I thought that would be win-win for everybody. But um, yeah, I'm just having one of those days where, you know, you just kind of, the mind is a funny thing. You know, sometimes you wake up and you're like, yeah, everything's amazing. And you're like, let's get it. And then some days you wake up and you're just like, oh God, there's so much more I could be doing in every direction of my life. And I feel so inadequate and just like so rubbish, so unorganized. And I've just had one of those days where I've just been feeling really meh. Yeah, and um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you know, not every day is like, yay, super exciting. Today's just been like, in every direction, I feel like with this new venture that I'm trying to do, basically, we're in the middle of selling a vegan cheese company, and that is a bit of a pain in the butt. And so I'm like, meh, about that. And then I've got so much excitement and so many ideas that I want to do for Broccoli Mum. Because obviously I've got my Instagram and I've got this and, you know, it's, I, I find it so fun. There's loads of directions I could go and I'm trying to figure out what direction to go in with the very limited time that I have. 
because I've got Romy all day long and it's hard to squeeze in time to do any work. So I just feel like, just like I'm not spending enough time with Romy and I would love to be spending more time on work as well. And like, there's just so many directions. Yeah, after feeling a little bit bummed out this morning, I realized that it is purely a mindset over matter kind of situation. And so I was like, come on, nothing's actually changed. I woke up fine yesterday and life is great. Life will go on no matter what. And I just need to crack on and like kind of have a bit of a vision and spend a bit, a bit of time instead of procrastinating around. And so the rest of the afternoon has been really good and really productive. So it's amazing the mindset shift. Everything is about the mind. It's not about physical stuff. It's all about your mindset and you know, how you want to make that work for you. We're finally back at home and now I've got half an hour to throw dinner together like super, super pronto. So I'm gonna show you how I do my tomato soup really, really, really speedy. Also, it was a fantastic idea of taking Abe out. He loved it and now he's knackered, which is Big pot. So this is literally the easiest recipe ever. I've got four tins of tomatoes, an onion. I'm gonna do a cup of red lentils and some veggie stock or some bouillon powder. This is one of the keys, is finding meals that are so darn speedy that you barely even need any time to put them together. Um, and then, like I always say, you only need like five to 10 core meals like this and literally just rotate them. Um, it doesn't take a lot of effort to find five or 10 meals um, that tick all the boxes. Um, really delicious, really filling, low calorie density, fast to make. I've obviously show you guys a ton of them. Um, and that is that is the magic there. So right, we've got an onion going in. I am gonna saute this onion uh, really quickly for like two minutes, because otherwise I don't like the oniony flavor that it has. Okay, I'm also gonna put two carrots in, but that's just optional, because I need to use up the carrots. And I've not been eating many carrots myself, obviously, um, but I need to squeeze them in somehow. Romy was super hungry when we got home. So I've just plopped her down here with a potato because that is her all-time favorite food. Doesn't have to be beautiful because I'm blending it up later anyway. In it goes. Okay, so meanwhile, I'm gonna grate up all these potatoes. I'm gonna turn it into a massive vat of hash brown mixture. And then I'm gonna take it in turns in the air fryer, kind of just making those, obviously prioritizing the kids' stuff first. So let's do this. Also, let me know if you guys actually like seeing me make the food, um, how I kind of do this stuff. I've been trying to prioritize that today. Um, and I could try and do that going forwards, not every day, but maybe some days. Um, but let me know if you guys like seeing me, how I make this food, or if you just are happy with just seeing the end result and me kind of explaining it. Let me know what is your preference. Making sure all the bad bits are off. So I was thinking about making something else actually, which is um, sliced potatoes in like a chickpea flour omelette kind of thing, like a patatas. What's it called? Is it like a Spanish thing? I don't really remember what it's called. But it's like, it's kind of like, it's meant to be like an eggy um, thing with like loads of sliced potatoes and maybe like onion and garlic in like a chickpea flour kind of situation. And I thought that could be really good because obviously I do have loads of potatoes to use up. So anyway, I'm gonna play, play around with some more potato related recipes. Okay, so now these onions and carrots have been sauteing for a while. I'm just gonna whack all of the tins of tomatoes in first. I'm going in with like a cup of red lentils. Boom, boom, boom. And some trusty bouillon powder. For you guys who are wondering, no, I have not kicked the salt yet. But I do try and just put like a little bit in. Right, little mix. Not the band. So I'm just gonna fill up one of these just to give it some extra water. Anyway, lid on and we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Um, while I do the hash browns. <laughs> okay, so in my hash browns, I am adding onion granules, garlic salt, and some smoked Make paprika. Knife. Your Abe knife though. Spoon of smoked paprika. Like, probably a teaspoon of onion granules. Like an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, like quarter cup of new. It's been about 10 minutes since I started making this and my food's nearly come together. So this is a very speedy dinner. I grab my filthy air fryer and I'm just gonna turn it into little 
kind of like patty things. And we're gonna whack them in. Oh, I don't know how to show you this. The angle doesn't work. If you had time, this would be a good one to get the kids involved in if they didn't just eat all the mix. <laughs> Cheeky rascal. So this is what I've got. I'm gonna stick it on for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And then I'm gonna flip it over and probably do another five minutes until it's beautifully crispy. Da, 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 da. Quick clean up. I also wanted to say, I have received my carob, organic carob powder from, I just got it on Amazon, but it's a Whole Food Earth brand. And um, this is the one I'm going to be devouring. It'll probably only last a week or two. But anyway, do you wanna show you? That's what I got. Okay, these, this batch is done and they are looking beautifully crispy, just how I like them. And now we're going to rotate. So this soup has been simmering nicely and now we just need to blend it up. Here we go. Super thick and creamy, delicious tomato soup. Now I need to clean this blender out real quick because James and I really love having silken tofu mayo to dunk our hash browns in and then dip it in the soup. It is divine, so I'm gonna quickly whip that up now. Okay, for this silken tofu mayo, one carton of silken tofu. It has to be the stuff in the packet. I like this garlicky, so one clove of garlic. Half a teaspoon of salt. About a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. I'm just eyeballing this. Yeah, that'll do. And I just put in a bit of mustard as well. Like half a teaspoon. Then a bit of black pepper. Okay, then we'll just blend it up. All done, and that is a beautiful silk and tofu mayo. Oh my God, that's so good. I thought I'd bring you outside because it's a lovely day. I want to show you my massive, gigantic feast. I've got my tomato soup with a bit of the um, tofu mayo in there. I've got loads of crispy courgettes and I've got my hash browns on the side. So that is going to be my delicious dinner this evening. Low calorie density, amazing, super satisfying and quite quick to throw together. This soup is to die for. Mm. It is so thick and just amazing. Mm. Excuse the babies in the background. Oh my God, what a combo, what a combo, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Love it.